is getting to crunch time, you know, hometowns are coming up and I am feeling nervous. Um, I really want to have a chance to speak to Nick just to, I guess, cement any feelings I do have. Um, Nick, do you mind if I take you for a chat? Sure. Thank you, for, thank you for that. Cute. It was awesome. This is the last uninterrupted time at the end of the day for Nick makes his decision on hometowns. So, I have a surprise for Nick tonight. Oh, look at <laughs> Get out of it. No way. Yeah. This is for us? Holy snap and duck poo. I've got two ukuleles and I'll set up like a little Hawaiian theme and just, you know, get a little chance for us to escape and have, do something fun. You know what? I've never been to Hawaii. Oh, good, because I've been to Hawaii and it's one of my favourite places, so I thought you'd, I'd take you there for a little bit. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, no way. We're in Hawaii. <laughs> um, So if you didn't get a rose, that makes her anxious. We all feel pretty worried going into the rose ceremony. At this stage, if you don't have a rose, you're, you're worried. There's only six of us left. Honestly, we're all shitty bricks. I imagine that it'll be mostly serious chats tonight. Yeah. Oh. Everybody that has left has told us that they get that vibe after speaking with Nick that they may be going home. I don't know, because Nick has obviously developed connections with all of us here. Mm. And Nick's decision is going to be tough on him and it will be a shock for all of us. Internally, he is facing like a massive battle. Yeah, I feel like tonight will probably be the hardest night he's had. My wind looks at me, I think I want to be right next to you. <laughs> right, right, right next to you, I meant to say. That was awkward. So, Dash, are you going to get the chance to actually go and speak to him? or are you... I'm really hoping like whenever he's ready, whenever he's back, I'll have something to show him. Uh, whenever he's ready after his nose powdering or whatever he's up to. Nice powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, you. Hello. How are you? Great to see you. Yeah, great it's to so see good you to see you. Do we have a chat? Uh, I would love to. Would you? Yes. Okay, well, let's go this way. So, tonight I have something important to show to Nick to give him a little glimpse into my life. As you might know, there is this little special person in my life. We and he's like literally me. It's not just, you know, like a part of my life or whatever. He is just me and my world. Um, and I thought that something just to help you put in face to a name. So I've got a couple of photos to show you. Um, yeah, so that's Leon. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh my god. He's a cool dude. Yeah. Oh he just like learned from my posing techniques as <laughs> well. <laughs> Honestly, he's just like my little shame. Like he just cop copies everything I do. When Dasha talks about Leon, her eyes light up. You know, there's a mother-son bond there that is very strong. So that's when he was saying goodbye to me? Oh, look at his grip on, on you. <laughs> he loves his mummy. You could see in her face at the bowling food she was upset. She's clearly missing him a lot. It makes me wonder how little Leon is feeling after being away from mum this long. Yeah, he's so affectionate. He's full of love. Like, he's such an amazing little boy. Um, I'm really lucky to have him in my life. Honestly. He's like a good little finger. You miss him a lot, don't you? I don't miss him a lot. He is always my number one priority. Like I, be, I like just make all my decisions based on um, his needs. And like I always consider him first. Um, yeah. You can see in Dasha's face, and you can hear it in Dasha's voice, how much it affects her to be away from Leon. It's hard to watch. It reminds me how much she sacrificed to be here. And I've got a question whether keeping them apart any longer is the right thing to do.